And the one thing I could think about is you're not worth it and you should jump. I dealt with a lot of uh, bad anxiety and uh, mental health problems. And I would overthink, you know, why my life isn't going where I want it to be. And I had a lot of expectations, especially coming from a military family. I was actually very insecure about my body for a while because um, I used to eat a lot. So that was a constant lie for myself because I was actually very healthy. I played basketball a lot. I didn't really eat healthy, but I at least, you know, was active. So like every time I would look at the mirror, I would just think like, you're fat, you're fat. You're fat, you're useless. Uh, the day that um, it ended up, I almost like killed myself. It was uh, July 4th, 2016. And I was actually hanging out with my friends in a Hard Rock uh, casino. We went to a parking garage to see the fireworks and they were all looking up, but I was just so down on myself. I was just thinking I'm just not worth it anymore. And I just kept looking down. I didn't look at the fireworks. And the one thing I could think about is you're not worth it and you should jump. You know, this is the day. Might as well do it. You know, you're with people you don't care about. Your family doesn't care about you. You should just go ahead and do it. And I almost did. I just kept looking down and it took uh, myself. My friends didn't notice because they didn't care. They were just looking at the fireworks. But it took me to tell myself, no, that pain is temporary and I just put myself out of that parking garage and I just said no. And the next day I actually went out and went to a therapist and started looking for help. And it was honestly the best decision I ever made in my life. I was actually just at the parking garage recently um, doing a photo shoot with a friend of mine and it was just a big difference. Like I was actually at the same spot where I was where I almost jumped. And instead of just looking down, I look straight up and realize that how much of a difference it took because I chose to help myself. And at the end of the day, uh, when it comes to headspace, if you won't let any assholes in your house, don't have them in your head. And I feel that you could do so much better if you just have the right mindset. You know, everyone is human and we're always going to have our down moments, but down moments is what makes us have great moments. And you could really appreciate those great moments. And, you know, not anyone, not everyone's going to be there to help me. And I felt I did it myself and I took that small victory and it took it day by day and look where I led to. I'm the happiest I've ever been.